Last but not least, we can talk about adding different types of animation to our website. Now, multimedia is a pretty big topic, so we'll just talk about three different types of animations that you could easily add to a website. The first type you could easily add to any website would be the use of animated GIF files. So we've already talked about the different types of images that are available on a website. You've got GIFs, PNGs, or JPEGs. So the GIF files, you have the ability to have animated GIFs, which has different frames inside each of the images. So you can see that any of these, you could actually right-click, save the image to your hard drive, and you can feel free to use any of these pictures inside any of your assignments or some of your web page work. There are some free resources on the web. Some of these are a little bit out of date, but you can come back to the CP102 website and check them out. If you want to make your own animated GIFs, you can download some animated software, such as the GIF construction set or the GIF animator. And there is pretty much a lot of other software out there that allows you to make these different pictures. But you do have to draw each frame and each individual image yourself. Now, if you just search, do a Google search for animated GIFs, free animated GIFs, then you'll find quite a very large selection. I'm going to go back here, and there is a link on the website called Java Animations. Now, Java is a programming language used on the World Wide Web, and this particular example is not working right now, so hopefully by the time you visit this website, the image will appear properly. But Java is a programming language that people can use to make applets inside of the web page. It's not the same thing as JavaScript, that's a different programming language, but Java can be used to make animations. What this Java applet does is simulate the look of this picture reflecting in a pond. Now if I click on the link, these pages actually explain the programming language that was used to generate this particular code. So this is Java code, and uh, you'd need a Java compiler in order to put this together and make it run. And then you save the file to your web server and, and then embed it inside your web browser. So a little bit beyond what we're going to cover in this class, but just so you know that it's available. And there is some probably uh, some free Java applets that you can find out there on your own. The last type of animation I want to discuss is Flash websites. So you've probably seen Flash, and there's a lot of availability of Flash out there. You've probably played a lot of Flash games. And Flash can be very complicated to learn, and it's a very expensive piece of software. But there are some other tools out there like Swish, which if you downloaded Swish, you'd be able to use and create very easy Flash animations. So there you go, the Swish bursting out like that, and the little balls moving back and forth. That's all done using Flash. And of course, you've played the games and seen the different things. One of my favorites is, well actually before I get to that part, there is a link here that you can click on to see and it tells you that you're supposed to do something with this little middle triangle and you can simply click and drag and you see that it, it only goes up and down, doesn't move side to side, but as you move the triangles it moves the rest of the image. So all of that was done in flash animation. We click back. One of the other fun links that I've always liked was uh, Homestar Runner. And you can see that this entire website is designed using Flash. There's actually a whole bunch of different home pages that you can choose from. And this is actually one of my favorites. And if you move over your mouse, if you move your mouse over each of these buttons, Yay. then you'll see something uh, fun happen Yay. on the screen. Oh, yeah, I crawled back from the dead. The dead oh, oh, holy crap. So you can take a look at this website, homestarrunner.com, and see really good examples of different ways of using Flash as an animation feature in your website. Now, at the very bottom of your last uh, HTML web page, there's some links related to uh, HTML. We've already talked about the Color Lab. There's a link for the color names. There's a JavaScript uh, color picker that'll help you choose colors in HTML. And actually, I've got a special surprise for you. I've switched back to our HTML editor here, PSPad, and we've already talked about adding different colors, but I will tell you that if you're using PSPad to make web pages, which is a very simple and easy to use program, if you click on the Tools menu, there's actually a color selector window. So you can click on the color selector window. It has a list of the browser safe colors that you can choose from, or you can change to the different styles or different uh, color palettes and if you click on one of the colors you'll simply find its hexadecimal value and you can type that in to your color background attribute your color attributes so that takes a look at HTML hopefully you've learned a lot you can take time to check this out and practice making some web pages